Thank you. All right, be seated. Cross examination. Good afternoon, Ms. Hurd. Good afternoon. Mr. Depp hasn't looked at you once this entire trial, has he? Not that I've noticed, no. You've looked at him, though, many times, haven't you? Yes, I have. You know exactly why Mr. Depp won't look back at you, don't you? I do. He promised you he would never, you would never see his eyes again. Isn't that true? I don't recall if he said that. One of the last times you ever saw Mr. Depp was when you met him in San Francisco in July of 2016, right? That was the second to last time I saw him, yes. And this was after you had publicly accused him of domestic violence. I got my restraining order before that, yes. Mm -hmm. And this is after you had obtained the domestic violence restraining order against him. That's correct. Let's please play Plaintiff's Exhibit 1229. Um, for the record, it's at 1101 through 1209. I'm going to ask that it be admitted into evidence. Any objection to 1229? Yes. All right, 1229, you want it entered in its entirety? Yes, please. Okay, 1229 entered in its entirety. Go ahead and play your section. No. Oh, no, a hug will save it all. All this, all this, everything we just I just wanted to touch you. Really, after all the shit you just said? I just wanted to give you a hug. I just wanted to give you a hug. Yes, yes, please, please talk. Please stop. Please, I just wanted to hug you and say bye. I wanted to end that. We did that last night. It's fine. That was. No, because I'm nothing to you, and I will always be nothing to you. Come on, come. You're not my shame. That's you and Mr. Depp in that recording. That is. And this is from when you and Mr. Depp met in San Francisco in July of 2016, right? Yes, that's what it sounds like. That was in the hotel. We met once after that as well. This is after you publicly accused him of domestic abuse. Uh, yes, and got my TRO. Yeah. And he tells you you will not see my eyes again, doesn't he? Uh, yes, he does in that recording. And he kept that promise, hasn't he? As far as I know, he cannot look at me. He won't look at you, right, Ms. Hurd? He can't. One of the first questions your counsel asked you on direct is, why are you here? Do you remember that? I do. Let's please play plaintiff exhibit 357A, which is already in evidence, Your Honor. Okay. And for the record, it's 2122 through 2140. See what the jury and judge think. Tell the world, Johnny. Tell them, Johnny Depp. I, Johnny Depp, man, I'm, I'm a victim too of domestic violence. And yes. I, you know, it's a fair fight. And see how many people believe or side with you. That's your voice on that recording, right? Yes, it is. And you were speaking with Mr. Depp? Yes. And you said to Mr. Depp, quote, you can tell, you can please tell people that it was a fair fight and see what the jury and the judge think. Tell the world, Johnny. Tell them, Johnny Depp, I, Johnny Depp, a man, a victim too of domestic violence. End quote. That's what you said, right? I was saying it to the man who beat me up, yes. I thought it was preposterous. And the man you beat up numerous times. <laughs> right, Mr. I could never hurt Johnny. You're here in this courtroom because Mr. Depp finally told the world that he is a victim of domestic violence. I know that he is suing me um, and has sued other people or corporations.
that have said that as well. You didn't think he would tell the world he was a victim of domestic violence, did you? I found it hard to believe that he could or that he would do that considering the relationship he and I had. I, I thought it would be crazy for him to do so, knowing what I know we lived through. Or, as you said to him in that recording, who was going to believe that Johnny Depp, a man, is a victim of domestic violence, right? With all due respect, I wasn't saying it because he's a man. I was saying it because he's a man who beat me up for five years. Mr. Depp is your victim, isn't he? <sighs> no, ma'am. And once he left you, you continued to abuse him publicly by calling him an abuser, didn't you? He is an abuser, and you can look either of us up online and figure out who's being abused online. Let's look at some of that. Mr. Depp wears rings on every finger, doesn't he, Miss Heard? That's my experience, yes. And they're not delicate rings, are they? Uh, no, they are not. Every one of his fingers is adorned, your words, big, chunky rings. Isn't that right? That's my experience of him. And Mr. Depp is always wearing rings, right, Miss Heard? That's my experience of him. And you've never known him not to wear these rings? Uh, that's my experience, is he normally wore rings, yes. So, Mr. Depp was wearing these big, chunky rings on every finger, every incident of abuse you've described to this jury, right? I can't say for certain it was in every single incident. But you've never known him not to wear rings, right? In general, um, my experience with Johnny is that he, will, he wears rings almost all the time. Ms. Heard, do you recall giving testimony in a deposition in this matter in uh, January of this year? I do. Can we please play from your deposition, day two, 512, page 512, lines 11 through 15? You said he hit you and he wear, he, he was wearing rings, right, Ms. Heard? So he hit you with rings on every finger? I don't know if I've ever known Johnny to not wear rings. Yeah. <clears throat> Ms. Heard, you testified to an incident in March of 2013 where Mr. Depp hit you in the face multiple times. Do you recall that? That's correct. And you testified, quote, you don't know how many times he hit you in the face. That's correct. So Mr. Depp hit you in the face multiple times while he was wearing rings on this occasion, correct? Which occasion in March are you referencing? You weren't The specific. testimony that you gave on day 15 of this trial, March of 2013, you weren't specific as to the day. There were several incidents. The one where he hit you several times in the face. Uh, there were, there were, so, I'm sorry, just so I understand better, there were several incidents in March. Which one are you asking me about? The time that he hit you several times in the face wearing rings. Well, he pretty in much March always... March of 2013. Right. What are you asking me? I'm sorry. He was wearing rings on that occasion? I pretty much always knew him to wear rings. Okay. Let's please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 170A, which is already in evidence, Your Honor. You testified that this is a picture you took after that incident, right, Ms. Heard? Yes, that was one where he grabbed me. And hit you in the face so many times that you don't remember. Isn't that correct? That's correct. And there's no injuries to your face in this picture, are there? Not that this picture shows. And there's no medical records reflecting that you sought treatment after this alleged incident either. I did not seek medical treatment at this time. So there's no medical records reflecting any injuries to your face after he, he hit you several times. I did not need to go to the doctor at the time. Despite hitting you several times that you lost count with rings on, your fi on his fingers. That's correct. I did not seek medical attention other than my therapist. You testified to another incident in March of 2013. 
13, where Mr. Depp hit you while he was wearing a lot of rings. Do you remember that testimony? Yes, ma'am. And you testified you felt like your lip went through your teeth and it got a little blood on the wall. Yes, I remember that. There isn't a picture of you with injuries after that alleged incident, is there? I don't know if I've seen one. Um, I, I can't recall. There are a lot of pictures. You didn't produce any photographs after that alleged incident, did you? I, I don't know if I took one or if it's included. I'm not, I'm not quite sure which ones. You didn't show any pictures to this jury after describing that alleged incident that your teeth, your lip went into your teeth. You don't remember that, right? I, you didn't I show don't... any pictures to this jury after describing that incident, right? I don't believe I've seen that picture admitted. That picture doesn't exist. I don't know which one you're talking about. There were We have pictures from March 2013, yes. The only picture that you've produced and shown to the jury is the one that was just put up on the screen where you said he hit you multiple times in the face and you appear to have what is a bruise on your arm, correct? I believe this is the only picture that's in evidence right now. That's the only picture you've shown to the jury from March 2013, correct? I believe so. You testified about an incident in Russia on or about June 26, 2013. Do you remember that? Uh, yes, that's correct. And you testified that Mr. Depp, quote, whacked you in the face. That's correct. And you went to the bathroom after that, right? I did. And then, according to your testimony, when you came out of the bathroom, Jerry Judge, Mr. Depp's security guard, who's passed away, pointed out that your nose was bleeding, right? He did that in the hallway. And you said you hadn't known that your nose was bleeding until Jerry Judge pointed it out to you? Yes, that's correct. I was unaware until he brought it up to me. I didn't see it when I was in the bathroom, but I wasn't looking. So, so it's your testimony that you went into the bathroom and didn't look in the mirror, which I assume was in the bathroom, to notice that your nose was bleeding? That's not why I went into the bathroom. I went into the bathroom um, crying. I, I don't even know if I paid attention to the mirror. I certainly didn't enough to notice any blood. And you didn't take any pictures of your bloody nose either, did you? I did not. But pictures were taken of you in Russia, though. Isn't that correct? Yes, that, that's correct. We had a press or a dinner. Um, let's please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1248. Ms. Heard, this is a picture of you and Mr. Depp in Russia, correct? That's correct. I'm going to move to admit. All right, no objection. One, two, four, eight in evidence. You can publish. And this is you and Mr. Depp in Russia for the Lone Ranger premiere, correct? It was a dinner function, I believe, for in promotion of the movie. It wasn't the premiere, if I recall. You don't have any visible injuries to your face, do you? None that you can see. Um, let's look at Plaintiff's Exhibit 1249. This is a picture of you, isn't it, right? That's correct. I'm going to move to exhibit, admit, right. exhibit 1249. All right, 1249 in evidence. This is also a picture from when you were in Russia for the Lone Ranger premiere, right? That is correct. And you have no visible injuries to your face, do you? None that you can see. Even though Mr. Depp whacked you in the face so hard that your nose bled? Uh, he did. While wearing chunky big rings, right? That's correct. You also testify that Mr. Dept again, walked you in the face after the Met Gala in May of 2014, right? That is correct. You testified that you thought he hit you so hard, he broke your nose. That's correct. You said your nose was, quote, swollen, discolored, red. That is correct. I took a picture of that. You testified you took a picture of your face after this. I did. But you didn't show that picture to the jury, did you? I would like to. But you didn't show it, did you? That's not up to me. I understand you were under an obligation to produce all photographs after any alleged incidents of violence, right, Ms. Hurd? I produced everything. 
You didn't produce any photographs after the Met Gala. I produced everything. You also understand that you're under an obligation to produce all medical records reflecting any injuries you allegedly sustained from Mr. Depp, correct? That's correct. And you haven't produced any pictures or any medical records reflecting a broken nose after the Met Gala in May of 2014, have you? I have given everything to my lawyers, everything. I've turned over literally everything that I have. Is it your testimony, Ms. Heard, that you sought medical treatment after Mr. Depp allegedly broke your nose after the Met Gala? Not after the Met Gala. I did not seek medical attention, no. You also attended an event after the Met Gala in May of 2014, didn't you? That is correct. And you went to the all-star comedy tribute to Don Rickles. That is correct. That was the next night after the Met Gala. That is correct. And there were pictures of you taken at this event. Yes. Let's pu please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1252. This is a picture of you, Ms. Hurd? Yes, it is. At that event? Yes, it is. The night after the Met Gala? Yes, it is. The night after Mr. Depp allegedly broke your nose? Uh, I'm not sure if it was broken, for the record. But, yeah, you should see what it looked like underneath the makeup. He whacked you so hard in the face that you thought you had broken your nose. Exactly. Right. Um, permission to admit this photograph? All right, one, two, five, two. In evidence. This is a picture of you, Mr. Depp, and Don Rickles, right? That is correct. Let's please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1253. This is another picture from that evening, right, Ms. Hurd? Yes, it is. Permission to admit Exhibit 1253 and publish it. All right, so moved. One, two, five, three, in evidence. This is a picture of you and Mr. Depp at the event the night after Mr. Depp allegedly whacked you in the face so hard you thought he had broken your nose. He did whack me in the face, and I did think it broke my nose. And this is you the night after? Yes, it is. Let's please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1254. This is also a picture of you at the same event, correct, Ms. Hurd? That is correct. Move to admit Plaintiff's Exhibit 1254. All right, 1254 in evidence. You can publish. Thank you. And just to confirm now that the jury can see it, this is a picture of you at the same event, the night after Mr. Depp allegedly whacked you in the face so hard you thought he broke your nose. Uh, this is a picture of me um, after he did whack me in the face. The night after, right? Yes, it is. I believe it was the night after, yes. Your nose doesn't appear to be injured in any of these pictures, does it, Ms. Hurd? I'm wearing makeup. Your nose doesn't appear to be injured in any of these pictures, does it, Ms. Hurd? That's why I'm wearing makeup. Right. And makeup covers up swelling, right? Makeup will not cover up swelling. Ice will, though. Ice will cover up swelling? Ice reduces swelling. Normally, the swelling after that kind of injury is not as bad as you would, might imagine. And for me, it wasn't that bad. I have a picture of it underneath the makeup. That's how I know how to reference it. A picture you haven't produced or shown to this jury, right, Ms. Hurd? I have, so I've produced everything. But you haven't shown it to this jury? I would very much like to. It's not my job. Your Honor, may we approach? Yes, that's fine. Ms. Heard, you testified that in January of 2015, there was an incident in Tokyo before uh, Mr. Depp's Mordecai, the film Mordecai's premiere. Is that correct? That's correct. And you told this jury that on this occasion, Mr. Depp was kneeling on your back. That's correct, in the closet. 
And you also told this jury that you wore a backless dress to the Mordecai premiere that very same night. I did. And you testified that you were checking for bruises in the car on the way back, on the way to the event to make sure that there were, there were quote, no visible marks, right? I was checking on my phone um, after the event to see, to make sure that nothing, they couldn't see anything. Your testimony was that you were checking in the car on the way to the event to make sure that there were no marks on your back. Perhaps I misspoke or I misunderstood. It was on the way back from it was after I was concerned. After, you know, concerned that there would be marks in any photographs since we were being photographed at Johnny's press event. And you didn't show this jury a picture of you in that backless dress, though, did you? Um, I don't know what you mean. I'm sorry. You didn't show this jury a picture of you at the Mordecai premiere wearing a backless dress, did you? I haven't had the opportunity to. Okay. I assume you have it. I do. Um, let's please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1256. <coughs> this is a picture of you and Mr. Depp, or the back of you, at the Mordecai premiere in Tokyo, correct, Ms. Hurd? That is correct. Your Honor, I move to admit and publish this picture. All right, 1256 in evidence. This is you in the backless dress at the Mordecai premiere in Tokyo, right? That is correct. You would agree that there are no bruises or visible marks on your back in this picture? No, not that I could see. I'll show you one other photo. If we could please have plaintiff's exhibit 1257. This is a front angle picture of you and Mr. Depp at that premiere, correct? That is correct. Move to admit plaintiff's exhibit 1257. Okay. All right, 1257 it is. I'll show you one more picture. Plaintiff's exhibit 1258. And again, Ms. Heard, this is you and Mr. Daft at the Mordecai premiere? Yes, it is. Move to admit Plaintiff's Exhibit 1258. No objection. All right, 1258 in evidence. Published. And that's the backless dress, right, Ms. Heard? That is correct. You also told this jury about an incident in Australia in March of 2015. Yes, that's correct. You testified that after this alleged incident, you had cuts on your forearms, right? Yes, that's true. And you testified that you had cuts on the bottoms of your feet as well. Yes, that's true. And you testified that you had a bruise across your jaw from when Mr. Depp, quote, clocked you in the face, end quote. That's true. You didn't take any pictures of these injuries while you were in Australia, did you? I don't think, no, I don't think I took any pictures. You just took two pictures of Mr. Depp's writing on a mirror. Isn't that right? I believe so, yes. So you had your phone on you, right? At some point I did have my phone. And your iPad? I had my iPad, I believe. And you testified that you were also raped with a liquor bottle in Australia, right, Ms. Heard? Yes. You testified you bled from your vagina as a result of that sexual assault. Yes. There aren't any medical records reflecting that you sought medical treatment for any of these injuries, are there? I did not seek uh, medical treatment after Australia, no. Not for the rape? No, I did not want to tell anyone. Not for the cuts? No. Not for the injuries to your face? I didn't need to. You also told the jury about an incident on December 15, 2015, right? Uh, where? I'm sorry. December 15th, 2015. Yes, that's correct. <clears throat> you told this jury that after this incident, you had a broken nose. It certainly felt like it. Ms. Heard, do you recall giving testimony on day 16th in this trial? <clears throat> yes. 
You yes, are I both, do. right? Yes. If you have a transcript for the jury, or excuse me, for the witness. Okay. All right. We'll we'll get it. I will do. Thank you, Judy. the witness, Your Honor? All right. Yes, ma'am. And would you like a coffee? Sir? Yes, please. Thank you. If I can please direct your attention, Ms. Hurd, to page of day 16, 4593, the jury trials transcript. Lines 8 through 13. On which page? I'm sorry. 4593. Yes. Starting on line 8. I thought I probably had a concussion and certainly thought, excuse me, strike that, let's start over. I thought I had. I thought I probably had a concussion and certainly that I had a broken nose. There was a blood everywhere, blood all over the pillows. My head was bleeding from the ripped out hair, chunks of hair on the floor, all over the place actually. So lines nine, that I had a broken nose. Do you re recall giving that testimony, Ms. Hurd? Yes, exactly. So you had a broken nose, right? That's absolutely what I thought. And you told the jury that you had two black eyes after this incident, right? I did have two black eyes after that incident. And you testified that you also had a busted lip from when Mr. Depp punched you. That is uh, correct. From December, yes, that's correct. You testified that the lip wound kept reopening when you moved your mouth. That's correct. You also testified that you had bruising on your temple. That's correct and bruising on your chin. Correct. You also testified that your head was bleeding from where Mr. Depp ripped chunks of your hair out. I remember, yes. And that you had, quote, gross pussy, and quote, bruising around your temple. Uh, in my scalp, yeah. Now for this incident, you did take pictures. Correct? That's correct. And we will look at some of those in a minute. But I first want to talk to you about your appearance on the James Corden show. Sure. Can I close this? Sure. You appeared on the James Corden show the day after this alleged incident, right? I did. And that was December 16th, 2015? Yes, that's correct. Let's please pull up a clip of your appearance from that evening. If we could, Plaintiff's Exhibit 35. And for the record, we will only be playing a portion of this, so we will call it uh, Plaintiff's Exhibit 35A. All right, any objection? No. 35A in evidence. I grew up, you know, in Texas, riding horse in my hands. <laughs> that was you on the James Corden show on December 16th, 2015, right, Ms. Hurd? That was. Let's please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 98. These are pictures of you on the James Corden show on December 16th, 2015, right, Ms. Hurd? 
They look like freeze frames, um, like screen grabs. Stills. They're not like a. It's not like a photo shoot. It doesn't seem. But on the James Corden show, correct? From that appearance, yes. Yeah. Um, move to admit and publish plaintiff's exhibit ninety-eight. Any objection? All right, Mr. Brown, you could move the microphone and turn it on for you, so Judy and I are having trouble hearing you. Sorry about that. All right, thank you. All right, 98 in evidence. Thank you. That's a photo of you opening your mouth on the right, right? That's correct. And again, an, a larger view of the same photo on the bottom. That's correct. With a split lip. You've seen pictures of it without makeup. Yes. So you had a split lip when you I were sure moving did. your mouth that way. I sure did. In those photographs. Absolutely. Okay. You did take pictures of your alleged injuries on, after December 15th, correct? And you showed those to this jury? I sure did, yes. Okay. Let's please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 516, which is already in evidence. You testified that this is a picture of you after the incident on December 15th, 2015, right? It was. And if we could also please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 517, which is also in evidence. That's fine. Thank you, Your Honor. This is also a picture of you after the incident on December 15th, 2015. That's correct. If we could please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 409, which is already in evidence. <laughs> These pictures ended up in People Magazine in June of 2016. Isn't that right, Ms. Hurd? That's correct. You gave these pictures to People Magazine after you publicly accused Mr. Depp of domestic abuse, didn't you? I didn't personally know. This was you protecting Mr. Depp after you got the restraining order against him, isn't it? No, this is him calling me a liar and me forcing to prove it, as I mentioned to you earlier. So you did give these pictures to People Magazine? No, I gave these um, pictures actually to my lawyers and my representatives at the time. Um, so it's your testimony, Ms. Heard, that your lawyers and representatives gave these pictures of their client to People Magazine in the middle of a contentious divorce? I certainly did not personally give it, no. You also have a medical record from after the December 15th, 2015 incident, don't you? A partial one, yes. You went to see Dr. Kipper's office a couple days later. That's right. He wasn't in the office. Can we please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 47, which is already in evidence? This is your medical record for December 17th, 2015, isn't it, Ms. Hurd? That's correct. And this record doesn't document any physical injuries on you, does it? I, I, I don't think so, no. I, I don't think I spoke to Kipper. I didn't speak to Kipper um, that day. And but you went I didn't, to Dr. Kipper's office and were seen, correct? I went to, Dr.'s Kipper op went to Dr. Kipper's office for a concussion check. Right. Okay. And this medical record is from that visit, correct? Partially, yes. Scroll down, please, if we could. The signature, Kipper, down below. This is the entirety of the medical record. Right, Ms. Hurd? Yes, what I meant by partial is I didn't talk about what happened to me. I didn't get into my injuries. I didn't get into what happened or um, ask for anything other than should I get some sort of scan done. Right, but this record doesn't document any physical injuries on you, does it? Uh, I'd have to read it in full, but I, I don't know. Well, let's do that. could please go 
Well, under skin, on the second page, it reads intact, normal color, moisture, hair distribution, texture, turgor, no signs of, oh, this is gonna be hard, cyanosis, mottling jaundice. It also says I'm a well-nourished male. Right, I have no idea what that means. I, I think this medical record's missing a lot of things. Yeah, but it doesn't document any physical injuries. It doesn't seem to be documenting anything. Probably because there was nothing to document, right, Ms. Hurd? I disagree with you on that. You don't have any medical records reflecting that you broke your nose during your relationship with Mr. Depp, do you? Uh, I saw an ENT after my relationship ended. And you saw an ENT, it's your testimony under oath that you saw an ENT for broken noses that you sustained as a result of Mr. Depp? No, but the ENT told me I sustained objection. multiple fractures. No, I'm going to move to strike. I'll honest. sustain the objection. I'll move to strike. Okay, thank you. So again, just to try my question. There's no medical records reflecting that you broke your nose during your relationship with Mr. Depp. Is there a misheard? I don't know what made it in evidence, but I do know that I documented that um, visit and that everything was given to my attorneys. Ms. Heard, you never went to see any doctor or surgeon to treat a broken nose during your relationship with Mr. Depp. Yes or no? I never sought treatment for a broken nose while I was with Johnny. Or after you were with Mr. Depp as a result of any injuries you sustained as a result of Mr. Depp? Afterwards, yes, I did. And you didn't produce those medical records in this case. I'm going to object, Your Honor. She did. I did. I, I don't know. All right. They have not been produced, Your yeah, Honor. They have not only All been right, produced. If you would do so. You don't have any medical records reflecting that you required any dental work during your relationship with Mr. Depp, do you? Uh, I don't know. I don't, rec I don't recall. You don't recall one way or another seeking dental care for any injuries you allegedly sustained? Uh, you asked me about if I had produced records or if I had records. That's a different question. Did you ever see a dentist or an oral surgeon as yes. a result of any injuries you sustained with Mr. Depp? Not about any injury I had from Johnny, no. And you don't have any medical records reflecting that you required any reconstructive work during your relationship with Mr. Depp, do you? I never required reconstructive work, so there would be no records. What you do have, Ms. Hurd, are pictures of Mr. Depp sleeping, though, right? The jury saw a lot of those. Yes. Okay. Ms. Hurd, let's take a look at Defendant's Exhibit 1090, which is already in evidence. You took this photograph, right, Ms. Hurd? That's correct. And you testified that this was taken in Tokyo in July of 2013, correct? Yes. So you decided to take a picture of Mr. Depp asleep on the floor? He was passed out. That's a and yes. And I took a picture of him because he uh, wouldn't remember. He claimed he didn't pass out that way. And sometimes security would carry him like a baby into bed, get him changed, and he would be none the wiser. So. I started taking pictures of it so that he knew that it was real, that it had gotten this bad. 
Let's take a look at Defendant's Exhibit 1091, which is already in evidence. You took this picture as well. Yes. And this is the picture that was taken in the Bahamas, right? It's one of them, yes. And this is a picture of Mr. Depp taking a nap on his tropical island? I believe he was on the nod, but as he would say. Sleeping on the nod they're, on his island? They're very different, in my opinion. And okay. yes, he is on the island. Right. On vacation? Uh, we were on vacation, yes. Okay. Let's also take a look at Defendant's Exhibit 1092, which is also in evidence. You also took this picture, right, Ms. Hurd? That's correct. I did. And this is another picture of Mr. Depp asleep in a chair? No, he was um, nodding off. Uh, sleep is different. When you're nodding off, you're high on drugs, didn't even feel the cigarette in his hand that had, you know, been burning on his leg. Uh, it was cause for alarm for me, naturally, um, because I cared about him. Uh, it's your testimony under oath that Mr. Depp is holding a cigarette in this picture? He had been. You seem to really like taking pictures of Mr. Depp while he's sleeping, don't you? I hated it. I hated it. Let's look at Defendant's Exhibit 1094, which is also in evidence. You took this picture of Mr. Depp as well, didn't you? I did. You decided to take a picture of Mr. Depp asleep with ice cream spilled all over him, right? He was nodding off, and um, I was worried about how bad the medications and the medication change and the drug use had gotten where he wouldn't even feel ice cream or a lit cigarette on him and it scared me. So you really. took a picture of it? Yes, I, um, I wanted him to get help and Johnny's surrounded by enablers who clean up after him. Objection, Your Honor, him. I'm going to move to strike everything after yes that she took this picture. It's still responsive here, Your Honor. The question was, did you take this picture? All right, I'll sustain the objection. Thank you, Your Honor. This isn't a very flattering picture of Mr. Depp, is it? No, it's not. You wouldn't agree that this is, or you would agree with me that this is an embarrassing scene, right? Yes, I think it's a part of getting help, is looking at it, seeing it. But you sent this picture to one of your friends, didn't you? Uh, I don't recall. Um, if we could please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 252. We'll only be looking at the portion of this document. So if we could please call it Defendant's Exhibit 252A. 252A. And for ease, we've gone ahead and redacted it. Yes, I was asking for support. That's correct. There's no question yet, Ms. Heard. So directing your attention, I'm going to move to admit um, exhibit 252A. Any objection? Any objection, Ms. Fredo? Could you turn turn on? Could you turn your microphone again? I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, I need to see it first because okay. I don't know what they redacted. 252. We redacted the identifiers and anything that's not misheard. Text messages consistent with hearsay. Maybe we approach. Okay. Sir, does this refresh your recollection that you did, in fact, send this picture to your friend Rocky Pennington? Yes, I did. And you sent it to her. On August 7th, 2014, at 11:24 p.m., correct? That is correct. So you sent Miss Pennington this picture of Mr. Depp with ice cream spilled on him, right? That is correct. And you wrote, "quote This is what I've been dealing with." End quote. Did I read that right? You did read that right. That's correct. And this is you protecting Mr. Depp. That is me getting support from my best friend. 
This is you supporting Mr. Depp. This is me getting support from my best friend. I also need support. You weren't afraid the, the monster would get upset that you took this picture? This was um, opiate Johnny. This is a different version of him. This is opiate on the nod Johnny. And you weren't afraid that opiate Johnny or the monster, as you called him, would get upset that you sent this picture to your friend? Well, he's all of those things. He, of course he could get upset. Of course, that's scary to me, of course. But it didn't stop you from sending this picture to your friend, did it? Why would it? Mr. Depp's hand, right hand, is in his pocket, right, Ms. Hurd? In this yes, picture? that's correct. You also showed this jury pictures of pain. Do you recall that? Yes, that's correct. Let's please take a look at one of those. If we could please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 167A, which is already in evidence. Directing your attention, Ms. Heard, to a photograph. This is a photograph you took in March of 2013, right? That is correct. And this was taken at your apartment in Orange? Yes. And this is your breakfast table? That is correct. And it's your testimony that Mr. Depp left this breakfast table just the way you took it? That is correct. So this is what the table looked like after Mr. Depp had been doing cooking? Uh, well, clearly he has yet to snort these lines. There are four lines of cocaine on this table, right, Ms. Hurd? In this picture, I see four lines. There isn't any cocaine residue around those lines, right? Uh, I, not that I can tell, no. Doesn't really look like anyone's been doing cocaine off that table, does it? With all due respect, I'm not sure you know how that works. I'm asking if you do. You've testified you've done cocaine. I have. Doesn't really look like Mr. Depp or anyone was doing cocaine off that table, does it? Uh, I beg to differ with you on that. When you snort cocaine, typically it goes into your nose. And then it doesn't stay residue. on the table. There's residue from that cocaine when your lips and nose touch the table, right? Will the tampon applicator next to um, the credit, I mean, um, driver's license that you see is a device that uh, I believe my sister had taught him to use in order to put the cocaine uh, in your nose. Mr. Depp is a pretty heavy smoker, right? He is. And, and that's a cigarette in the ashtray in the back there? Um, back right? Yes, it looks like one of his hand rolls. There's no other cigarettes in that ashtray, are there? I see one cigarette. The one that's not smoked? That's correct. There's no ash in that ashtray either, is there? Uh, not that I can tell in this picture. It's pretty clean. In this picture, it looks like it, yes. It's a pretty neat table. Wouldn't you agree? Um, depends on what you would call neat, I suppose. And you sent this picture to your friend, Rocky Pennington, as well, didn't you? I sure did. And when you sent it, you said, quote, look at my morning, or something like that. Is that right? Yay for mornings. So you have a habit of sending stage photographs to your friend, Rocky, don't you? I had a habit of communicating with my best friend about what was going on in my life. You don't have any pictures of Mr. Deb actually consuming cocaine, do you? I don't think I have a picture of him mid-snort. No. You don't even have any pictures of Mr. Depp with cocaine. What do you mean by that? Holding cocaine, standing next to cocaine? Um... Sitting next to cocaine? I don't know. I don't know. Well, you haven't shown any of those pictures like that to the jury, have you? I don't know. I No, I haven't. And you were never able to catch Mr. Depp with film either, were you? I never tried. 
but you were able to catch him sleeping, right? Uh, I have seen him pass out in all sorts of places, yes. And you also captured a video of Mr. Depp in the kitchen that was played again for this jury today, uh, beating up some cabinets. Do you recall that? Sorry, say that again? You recall capturing Mr. Depp in the kitchen of one of his homes, beating up some cabinets? Yes. Slamming things around, yes. So you took that video of Mr. Depp in the kitchen, right? I did. I did. And you took it on one of your iPad devices? I took it on my iPad. You were deposed in August of 2016 in connection with your divorce proceedings from Mr. Depp, right? That is correct. And you will recall that the video of Mr. Depp in the kitchen was released online the day before your deposition in August of 2016, don't you? That's correct. You're the one who released that video. Incorrect. Isn't that true? That's incorrect. I flew in from another place at the time. I remember learning about it when I landed. So it's just a coincidence that the video you took of Mr. Depp was released the day before you were deposed in connection with your divorce from Mr. Depp. I absolutely had nothing to do with that. I wouldn't even know how to do something like that. You settled your divorce from Mr. Depp in August of 2016, right? That sounds right. And in connection with that settlement, you received uh, $7 million from Mr. Depp, true? That's correct. 6.8, exactly. Your settlement amount was $7 million. That's correct. Okay. And then you released a statement in which you claimed you would be donating the entire $7 million to charity, right? That's correct. You stated you would be donating half of the $7 million to the ACLU. That's correct. And you would be donating the other half to Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. That is correct. And you also stated, with respect to the $7 million divorce settlement, that money played no role except for the extent that you could donate the money to charity. Yes, that's correct. If we could please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1259. This is an article entitled, Amber Heard Donates Johnny Depp Divorce Settlement to Charity. Read her statement in full. Is that correct? That's what the title says, yes. Directing your attention to the portion on the second page where it says, quote, read the statement below. Is that the statement you released, Ms. Heard? That is correct. Your Honor, I move to admit the statement and the article as redacted. Objection, hearsay. It's her statement. It, it, this is not her statement. This is some. This she is, just testified, Your Honor, that it's her it's statement. Her statement. Uh, may I say the full? Uh, Everything else is redacted. Um, okay, then I have no objection. All right, one, two, five, nine in evidence as redacted. The statement reads. As described in the restraining order and divorce settlement, money played no role for me personally and never has, except to the extent that I could donate it to charity and in doing so, hopefully help those less able to defend themselves. As reported in the media, the amount received in the divorce was $7 million and $7 million is being donated. This is over and above any funds that I have given away in the past and will continue to give away in the future. Did I read that correctly? That is correct. I don't remember that last line, but I have no, it doesn't stand out to me as wrong. There's nothing inaccurate in the statement. Not that I recognize, no. Mr. Depp donated $100,000 of the divorce settlement directly to the ACLU. Is that right? Right at the beginning of the divorce settlement, he um, donated 100000 to each charity on my behalf or towards my contribution. So $100,000 to, to the ACLU. And to the Children's Hospital. And in response, you publicly demanded that Mr. Depp pay the divorce settlement directly to you instead of the charities, right? That was always the agreement, actually, is for him to pay me directly. It was not his money as per the settlement agreement to give away and reap a tax benefit from. I said if he wants to do it and give to charity all of a sudden, then he should pay 
the correct amount and not try to get a big tax break for it. So effectively for his tax bracket, he should be paying double that amount to the charity directly. And if he wanted to pay the charity directly, he could. He could do that was fine with me, but he would need to pay the adjusted amount. Ultimately, the rest of the $7 million divorce settlement was paid directly to you, right? Over time, yes. And Mr. Depp didn't end up paying the rest of the $7 million divorce settlement directly to the charities you identified. That is correct. He paid the you, installments to me. You stopped that from happening, didn't you? I don't understand what your question is. I'm sorry. You stopped Mr. Depp from paying the charities that you had named directly. That is incorrect. I said if you want to pay the charities directly, pay the adjusted amount, or pay as per our agreement in the settlement or in the divorce, as per our agreement. You also and he chose to do the former, not the latter. I mean, the other way around. You also publicly stated that the $7 million divorce settlement should be paid to the charities immediately in full, right? If he wanted to pay it in the way that he was suggesting, yes. And, and you said publicly that the payments to the charities should not be drawn out over many years, right? I said that, I don't, I don't recall the exact words that I used, but basically that he shouldn't use this as an, a novel interest in getting a tax break, that if he wanted to do that and not pay me the settlement, that was fine, but he would have to pay the adjusted amount and not make it, you know, a, a commitment he would not fulfill or try to avoid in some other way. And that's because you wanted the entire world to think that you were donating every penny of the $7 million divorce settlement as soon as you received it from Mr. Depp. Isn't that right? No, I was going to be receiving it in installments and I would be paying in installments the donations. In fact, you released a statement in response to Mr. Depp's $100,000 donations to the ACLU and CHLA, didn't you? I don't recall. Let's see if we can refresh your recollection. If we could please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1260. This is an article entitled Amber Heard and Johnny Depp Row Over Divorce Donations. And if I could direct your attention to where it says, I believe it's on the second page. Her spokeswoman responded in a statement. The language Objection. that follows the statement you Objection. released. Objection, hearsay, right. spokeswoman, it's not her. Right. A spokesperson is an exception, Your Honor. You want to come forward? You released a statement You're through... Right, we approach again? Okay. Before we ask the next question, I'll just hand you a copy of You're this one. To sit before you ask. That's why I'm saying. Okay. That's exactly what I said. Your Honor, would you like to see one as well? No, I. That's right. I, that's fine. Thank okay. you.
Could you please turn your microphone on? I'm sorry, Ms. Bernard. I'm sorry, for the time. My, sir. Um, Your Honor, they gave me a redacted, but I don't have the unredacted to be able to see the full document. I plan to admit it or ask that it be admitted in redacted form. I'm taking away any hearsay, and I'm just trying to lay the foundation but that this is a statement she released through a spokesperson. How would I know whether there's more to it that shouldn't be redacted, Your Honor, if I don't see the full document? Your Honor, the witness can testify as to whether this is a full statement or not. The, the witness can't. Do, we, we have the right to be able to see the document. All right. Do you have so a we, document that's not redacted? We can pull it up on our computers. Okay. I'll just give us a moment, Your Honor. All right. I can represent this is the full statement that's reported. Okay. Give her an opportunity to look at the unredacted one. Thank you. May I approach? <laughs> yes. So, Your Honor, can we have a copy of this? Yeah, I'm, you, you can get a copy of that uh, Happily, la later, later yes. today. Okay. Right. right. I mean, I, I think she should be giving us copies of the full. Well, I understand, before. but we'll, we'll take care of that. But okay. As of I'll right now, can we continue? We can, Your Honor, but I have an objection because of uh, there's some quotation marks missing. Okay. Come forward. All right. So directing your attention, Ms. Heard, where it says her spokeswoman responded in a statement. Your the Honor, language that follows. Your Honor, again, she can't read it. She has to show it The to language her. that follows. Right. If you want to lay a foundation to that. Go ahead. You released a statement after Mr. Depp donated $100,000 to the ACLU and $100,000 to CHLA. Correct, Ms. Hurd? I think so, yes. Okay. And the language that follows is the statement you released in response to Mr. Depp's donations, right? I don't know if this is this, the official statement. I really, I have no idea. The statement that reads, starts Objection, at Your Honor. Amber Hurd. Yeah. That's the only thing I'm going to say. Would you please read that to yourself, Ms. Heard? Okay. 
Yes. Okay. Did you read all the way to the very bottom where the last word is supported? Yes. Okay. That's a statement you released through your spokeswoman after Mr. Depp made their donations to the CHLA and the ACLU. Correct, Ms. Hurd? I do not recall exactly what my statement was. I don't disagree with anything in the statement, but I just simply don't recall what the statement was we released. Is there anything inaccurate in that statement, Ms. Hurd? No. Okay. I'm going to move to admit. Objection, Your Honor. Lack of foundation. No, I'll overrule the objection. 121260 in evidence of objection. Thank you, Your Honor. Statement reads, Amber Heard appreciates Johnny Depp's novel interest in supporting two of her favorite charities, the ACLU, American Civil Liberties Union for Domestic Violence, and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. This is great and unexpected news. And it continues. However, if Johnny wishes to change the settlement agreement, we must insist that he honor the full amount by donating $14 million to charity which, after accounting for his tax deduction, is equal to his $7 million payment obligation to Amber. And it continues. We would also insist that the full amount be paid immediately and not drawn out over many years. Anything less would be a transparent attempt by Johnny's counsel, Laura Wasser, and Patty Glazer to reduce their client's true payment by half under the guise of newfound concern for charities that he has never previously supported." End quote. Did I read that correctly? Yes. Thank you. After this, you kept commenting about the donation of your divorce settlement, right? Uh, I don't know what you mean by that. Okay. You spoke about donating your divorce settlement on a Danish TV show, correct? Uh, I believe I said I had, um, I, I believe I said I donated it to charity, but it was already printed or ar already commented on and stated in the press. I had already released that information in the press. I think I just confirmed it on that show. You appeared on a show called RTL Late Night, right? I don't recall it. What show it was. If we could please play Plaintiff's Exhibit 346, which is a portion of your appearance on this program. And we would ask that it be moved into evidence and it, ask for permission to publish Your Honor, it. It contains, it has hearsay, it contains other communications with other individuals. Your Honor, if we may approach okay. very briefly. So if we could please play and publish to the jury Plaintiff's Exhibit 346. $7 million in total was donated to, I split it between the ACLU and Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. ACLU is a human rights organization. Sorry, ACLU is a prominent um, uh, organization, nonprofit organization in the United States. Yeah. It's called the American right. Civil Liberties Union, and they work on behalf of marginalized communities uh, on the ground and in legislative reform. Right. And well, more power to you because that's that's something that I've never I heard. I wanted of, uh, nothing. This interview was in October of 2018, right, Ms. Heard? I don't recall when it was. It was in 2018, right, Ms. Heard? I don't remember when this was done. This was after you had received the full $7 million of your divorce settlement for Mr. Depp, wasn't it? Again, without knowing when it was recorded, I have no idea. The $7 million divorce settlement was paid to you in full by February of 2018, right? That's correct. Let's take a look at Defendant's Exhibit 1458, which is already in evidence. This is the deal point memorandum from your divorce settlement, right, Ms. Hurd? Yes, that's what it looks like. And if we go down to the bottom of page four, there 
There's a heading labeled equalization payment. Do you see that? Yes. So the first payment is scheduled for August 31st, 2016, and that's 200000 correct? Yes, that is correct. Mr. Depp's accountant, Edward White, testified that he made that payment directly. You got to turn on your microphone, Ms. Berterhoff. I'm not going to hear you. Objection to her testifying to what Mr. White testified to. That okay. It's that actually, it, he literally testified to it okay. in court. All overruled objection. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Depp's accountant, Edward White, testified that he made the payment directly to the ACLU and CHLA, correct? I believe so, yes. And then the rest of the payments were all made to you, weren't they? That is correct. And the final payment of $2.3 million is on February 1st, 2018, right? The final payment, yes. And you were here in court when Mr. White testified that the payments were all made on I mean, schedule. I'm going to object to her testifying to what Mr. White testified to. Uh, overall, Go ahead. Thank you, Your Honor. And you were here in court when Mr. White testified that the payments were all made on schedule, right? I don't believe they were. Uh, he might have That's testified to That's not my question, that. Ms. Heard. My question was, you were here in court when Mr. White testified under oath that all the payments were made on schedule. I was here every day in court. I, I heard his testimony, yes. Okay. So back to October of 2018, this was before Mr. Depp sued you for defamation, correct? Yes, that's correct. He didn't sue you until after the op-ed came out in December of 2018, right? He sued me in 2019. And the op-ed came out in December of 2018? That is correct. So in October of 2018, you had received your entire $7 million divorce settlement. You would that, agree with me? That is correct. Okay. And you hadn't yet been sued by Mr. Depp? This is... Uh, October, correct. So in this October 2018 interview, you said that you had, quote, donated, end quote, your entire divorce settlement to charity, right? That's correct. And in fact, your exact words were, quote, seven million in total was donated to, I split it between the ACLU and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, end quote, that's, right? That's correct. I made that statement as soon as I got a divorce and we reached the settlement. That's when I pledged it, right then. And you say this because you, quote, wanted nothing, end quote. That is correct. But you hadn't donated your entire, entire $7 million settlement to charity at that point, had you? That's incorrect. Sitting here today, Ms. Hurd, you still haven't donated the $7 million divorce settlement to charity. Isn't that right? Incorrect. I pledged the entirety no, of Ms. the Heard, settlement, that, seven million to question. charity, and I, Ms. Heard, I intend to fulfill Ms. Heard, those obligations. Ms. Heard, that's not my question. Please what try was to question? answer my question. Sitting here today, you have not donated the seven million dollars donated, not pledged, donated the seven million dollars divorce settlement to charity. I use pledge and donation synonymous with one another. They but I the don't, Miss Heard. I don't use it synonymously. That's how donations are paid. Ms. Heard, respectfully, that's not my question. As of today, you have not paid $3.5 million of your own money to the ACLU. Yes or no? I have not yet. And as of today, you have not paid $3.5 million of your own money to the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, correct? I have not yet. Johnny sued me. So as of today, you have not donated, paid $7 million of your divorce settlement to charity, right? I have not been able to fulfill those, uh, those uh, obligations yet. And that's because you did want something, didn't you? I didn't want anything and I didn't get anything. You wanted Mr. Depp's money. Didn't get it, wasn't interested in it. I loved Johnny, that's why I was with him. You wanted praise for donating the money, right? That's incorrect. You wanted good press. In general, one <laughs> does want good press, yes. You wanted to seem altruistic publicly. 
wasn't my interest. Um, my interest is uh, in my name and clearing my name. And at the time, I was being called a liar and my motives were being questioned. I did see it as important to clear that up. I wanted to make a statement to make sure that there was not any doubt that I couldn't be labeled these things just because Johnny was a bigger star and had more publicity reach. You wanted to remind everyone of your claims of domestic violence against Mr. Depp, right? No, I wanted to move on with my life. You wanted to make those claims seem believable. They are believable. They you were believable. You wanted them to be seen, you wanted to be seen, excuse me, as a noble victim of domestic violence. I have you? never, never wanted to be seen as a victim. Nor have you, I ever called myself one. You testified under oath that, quote, the entirety of your divorce settlement was donated to charity, end quote, didn't you? That's correct. I pledged the entirety. No. Ms. Heard, my questions. Your counsel will have time to redirect you after. You testified under oath, quote, the entirety of your divorce settlement was donated to charity, end quote. That is correct. I pledged the entirety. I'm going to move to strike everything after yes. Uh, all right. Ms. Hurt, this I, is I, really I, inappropriate. I, I'll sustain the objection and we'll just move forward. Thank Let's you. Let's move forward. Next Thank question. You. Under oath, that statement wasn't true, was it, Ms. Hurd? I'm sorry, I don't follow your question. Sorry. You testified under oath, quote, the entirety of my divorce settlement was donated to charity, end quote. That statement wasn't true. It is true. I pledged the entirety to charity. The statement. When you say you buy a house, you don't pay Ms. for Heard, the entire house Heard, at one time. You pay it I'm over not asking, time. Ms. Heard. All right, next question, please. Thank you. That statement isn't true today, as you sit here today, is it? It is true. I pledged the entirety. But you didn't charity. donate it. Unfortunately. You didn't donate it. It's a yes or no. I haven't been able to obligate, I mean, to fulfill those So that's a no, right, Ms. Hurd? I, am, I made the pledge. I want to be very clear. I pledged the entirety. I haven't been able to fulfill those pledges because I've been sued. You had all of the $7 million for 13 months before Mr. Depp sued you, and you chose not to pay it to the charities you pledged it to. Is that I, correct, Ms. I Hurd? disagree with your characterization of that. Let's look at your sworn testimony from the UK. All right, yes, ma'am. Thank you. Ms. Vasquez, do you want me to close the shades? That would be okay. wonderful. <laughs> just, there's this light coming across. And well, I appreciate that. It's a probably helpful. good light. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. This is uh, your third witness statement that you submitted in the UK action, right, Ms. Heard? Correct. And this statement was made under oath, true? That uh, is true. I'm directing your attention to the last page of that statement. That's your signature, right? Yes, it is. So you made the sworn statement on February 26, 2020. That's correct. And directing your attention to paragraph four, It says, quote, I remained financially independent from him the whole time we were together, and the entire amount of my divorce settlement was donated to charity, end quote. That is correct. Did I read that correctly? Yes, you did. The him you were referring to is Mr. Depp. That is correct. Most of the money that was donated to the ACLU and CHLA in your name came from someone else. Isn't that right? 
I don't know what you mean by most of. Well, at least $500,000 that was donated to the ACLU in your name wasn't paid by you, right? Uh, I believe Elon made a donation in my honor on one of, you, one of the years. Yeah, and it didn't come out of your $7 million divorce settlement, right? No, nor did it count towards my pledge. And at least $500,000 that was donated to the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles in your name wasn't paid by you either. Right, those were made at the same time. And it didn't come out of your $7 million divorce settlement. Nor did it count to my 3.5 obligation. Those $500,000 payments came from your new boyfriend, Elon Musk, right? Uh, he, I don't know if he was a new boyfriend at the time. You got him to pay part of what you promised to these two charities, didn't you? Incorrect. Because you wanted to keep at least some of the $7 million divorce settlement for yourself, right? I'm very wrong about that. I think this... If your honor is okay, fine, said, this is a good stopping break point. point. Okay, that's yeah. fine. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll stop here for the evening. Remember tonight, do not do any outside research and do not discuss the case with anybody. I know these days are a little longer, and I appreciate your patience and uh, your, your uh, taking care of everything here. Please take care of yourself tonight, okay? And we'll see you in the morning at 9 a.m. And again, again, Ms. Hurd, since you're still uh, on the witness stand, please do not discuss your testimony with anybody to include your attorneys, okay? All right, 9 o'clock tomorrow then? All right, we'll see you at 9 o'clock. Thank you. All right.